Hi and welcome to Miss Daisy Patterns online tutorials. Today we are going to be making uh, this little cute penguin. He's completely no sew so there's no sewing involved at all and he's made with a couple of socks. Um, so I'll just go through quickly what you'll need to make him and then we'll make one up. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download this pattern from our website um, and when you go to our website if you click on the link that will appear just here um, you'll go directly to the pattern and what you'll need to do is print it on an A4 piece of paper at 100% so A4 piece of paper 100% and that will give you all the details as to the pieces you need to cut out so what you will need now is you're going to need some felt so some white felt, some black felt and some yellow felt. White is for the body, black is for the wings and the yellow is for the feet. Um, you'll need two googly eyes, which are these here, two googly eyes, <clears throat> some string and with the string you need to cut it down into strips. So you'll need three of them and these strips are are 38 um, centimeters or 15 inches in length and you need three of them. You need a bowl of rice and some sort of a container to pour with, scissors for cutting everything up, a glue gun um, and this is to actually attach all the pieces together and then finally and most importantly you'll need your socks. So the first one you need is you'll need a black sock. So this is the black sock that you'll need. You just need one of them. And then the second sock you'll need, I'm using a stripy colored one here, but really you can use any color at all. This is for the penguin's hat and for the scarf. Right, so we'll start. <clears throat> Now, the first thing you need to do is you cut out all of these pieces and on the pattern it tells you what colors of felt that you need to cut them out from. And I've then um, cut out here already. So what you have to do is you cut out your wings and the wings are cut out from the felt. So that's your two wings. And this is your main body and that's cut out from the white piece of felt. And then these are your little feet two little feet and they're cut out from the yellow felt. Now the final thing that you'll need to cut out, which there isn't a pattern for, it's just a small little triangle and this as you can see here is for his nose. So it's just a small little triangle that's for his nose. So there are the pieces that you need to cut out. Now I'll put these aside for the moment. Um, now what you need to do is with your sock you lay your sock out and where the heel is here where the heel is here you just cut straight across so you're going to do this and you're going to cut straight across and this part you don't need so you can leave it aside to use on another project okay um, this is what you're left with and what you're going to do with this we need to be careful of all the little bits falling off is you're going to turn it inside out. Okay, so you turn it inside out and we get rid of these little pieces here. Turn it inside out and with one of your pieces of string you're going to tie a knot on the inside tightly. Okay, so that's tie a knot. I usually like to wrap it around a few times tie another knot good and tight and then another knot right and then what you do is you turn it right side out turn it right side out so that is essentially the body ready now the next thing that we need to do is we want to fill the body area with rice so grabbing some from your bowl and using your now you can also use a funnel for this okay you can also use a funnel I'll have it at the side here I'll grab some more rice and we're pouring it okay and as you're going what you want to do is you want to be packing the rice down into it 
as you're going. Packing it down as you're going. You'll see as it fills up to the top, you want to pack it down like that, giving more space to put rice in. And actually quite a bit of rice will go into this, so. Go again. Again, packing it so as we can have that nice roundy shape. Okay, nice roundy shape is happening now. Do a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a little bit more now. Try not to get any pieces there. Okay. should be him ready yeah right so that's so leaving a space at the top here okay so that's the shape of him at the moment okay so that's the shape of him what you're going to do is your second piece of string you want to tie a knot around the top again very securely so you don't want any of the rice coming out wrap it around tie another knot wrap it around again Tie another knot, another knot. I just do this to make sure that it's completely secured in there. Right, now, so that's essentially the shape. Now, as you can see on this penguin, he's got his body and then he's got his head. So to create the head shape, so you manipulate it. So you've the head at the top, the body at the base, and Again, you use your third piece of string. Now don't worry that the string is actually a different color um, because this is gonna be covered with a scarf. Now the other thing you can do is you can, if you want to, you can use um, black here, but it's a lot easier for me to use this color for the video. Now this one, because it's not actually holding the rice in place, can be snipped off. So that's the shape of your body. Okay, now the next piece that we need to do is we're going to take the actual front piece of the penguin and we're going to lay it like this. Okay, now what we do here, first of all, grabbing our glue gun, we're going to position where it's going to go and I'm going to do a wee piece of glue along here just to put the neck in place first of all. So that's the neck. And then we're going to take our glue gun and go all the way around. Yeah. Got to do around the body. Again, don't worry if you get too if any bits because you can pop them off afterwards. Okay, so that's it there. Very close to the edge if you hold it in position. There you go. That's that piece down. And again. that in position and the top but that's your body in position so it's the front bit of the penguin in position we'll tidy up these bits here later so that's that bit okay so that's the front bit in position as you can see okay 
Now, I like to put the hat on next and the scarf because it gives me roughly the positioning as to where I would like to put the eyes. So now for the hat, you also have another scarf here. And with regard to the hat, we're just going to be using the top piece here. So very simply, I like to use the heel section here for the scarf. So roughly about here, cut straight across. And to make the hat, stretch this out. You roll up the base a little bit. And I like to put the hat on like so. And as you can see, any of the bits that we're glued. Now we're also going to be gluing the hat in place just so that it stays there. But that's roughly the hat. And the next bit that I like to do then is the scarf. So it's going to be the scarf. Okay. And to make the frilly bit at the side, I usually just chop into this. Like so. Okay, so like so. And take out that little piece. Any piece that are straggling, you can take them out. Okay, and then cut off this, cut off this, and these sections here can just be left like that. So you hold it out, wrap it around, gives you a nice little scarf. Okay, as you can see. Nice little scarf. And what it also does then is it leaves this part of the sock left over, which you can actually use as a leg warmer or for over boots, you know, or we could use it to make something else. But I'm going to leave that aside for the moment. So, so far what we've done is we've attached the scarf, we've attached the hat, we've filled the body, and then we've got the eyes to put in place. So, again, back to the glue gun. We'll put some glue on here, like so, and position the first eye. Again. Go on to position the second eye. He's starting to take shape already. And then that little triangular piece that we had for the nose, we just put a little bit of glue at the top of that, like so. A little bit of glue, and that gets positioned in between the two eyes there. Okay? So there you go. That's his face, his hat. Now, the next thing that we do is we're going to put the two feet in position. And as you can see here with this guy, they're just, they're attached just at the base. Right. And as you'll see with the pattern, the pattern has got a left foot and a right foot, which gives you that kind of cute penguin look. This is where we're going to be positioning them. Okay, so place the two of them together, grabbing a bit of your glue on, run it along like that, another bit like that, okay, so that's essentially, and then taking your penguin, you literally put it down, like so, okay, so that's your penguin's feet in place, right, as you can see, it's his feet in place, and then the last section to do is to put on his two wings. And for his wings, I usually attach them just along here. So, running a little bit of glue around the top of the wing, like so. And putting it in position like that. And the scarf can go back over it. And the second wing is going to go here. So what we're doing with this one then is we're going to be attaching this final wing on this side along here. So that's the wing in place. Pull the scarf back down over it. Smooth out your little penguin. 
and that's your penguin completely done with his cute little wings his little hat now what you can do and I'll do later is I'll actually run some glue just underneath his hat to keep him in place but as you can see that's your penguins okay so thank you for taking the time uh, to watch this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and you'll get to make some of these penguins yourself um, if you do happen to make any uh, please do send in any pictures that you may have um, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here by clicking the link that's just about to come up on the screen um, again, you can also find far more tutorials on our website at www.missdaisypatterns.com and you can follow the link which should appear now. Again, thank you and happy crafting.